watching Highlight Harrison, the official show for the Greater Harrison Chamber of Commerce. And we're bringing you stories from the business community and most importantly, the people behind the businesses. I'm Sarah Cullen. I own a small business called Signal Tree Creative Communications. And I have the honor of serving as the chairwoman for the Greater Harrison Chamber. Today with me is Nicole Rudisell. She's the owner of one of Harrison's newest shops. It's called Bliss Bridal Informal. Nicole, thank you for coming on Highlight Harrison. Thank you. And congratulations on your new store. So tell me a little bit about um, how you decided to open a bridal informal shop here in Harrison. So I own Pristine Beauty just three doors down and um, I've been doing hair for, I don't know, 16, 17 years now. And with that comes prom, brides. Mm -hmm. So um, we have everything down here in the district to complement that day except for a dress store. And um, the closest place for people to go is Reading or Kenwood. And I hear these girls complain that there's no place around. And so I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to open somewhere like this where brides could come to a local spot and then there's all the other businesses in the district that they could come and visit while they are here. That's great. Yeah. And so um, when did you open and how is it going so far? So we opened in um, like the second week of February and so far it's it's going great. We have girls coming from everywhere, the West Side, Indiana, Harrison, um, Brides even coming from everywhere. I think our furthest bride traveled from Dayton. So it's amazing. We're having so much fun, learning a lot still, but it's it's great. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about um, the experience because you're, you've are you got two kind of two different things going on mm -hmm. here in this shop mm -hmm. in addition to your salon yeah. and all the services that you provide over there. Mm -hmm. So, but here at Bliss Bridal Informal, um, you offer wedding gowns, obviously. Correct. So talk about, um, you know, if, if you have a newly engaged woman uh, wanting to come shop for a gown, what's, what's the experience like? So um, for brides, it's appointment only, and you get a two-hour appointment for yourself. So you get the whole space to yourself. Um, where your family, you can bring whoever you'd like, um, and your family can just, I call this area over here my little living room, but um, mm -hmm. we kind of want you to feel like you're at home, and then we get to know you when you come in, have you fill out some paperwork, and then we just kind of start picking dresses, and you try them on, you come out, you stand up on the stage for your family to see, and then... I don't know. It's just, it's been a really great experience so far. Um, it's really, really fun. So it's just, we try to take those two hours and dedicate it fully on the bride and just give them our full attention. That's excellent. Yeah. And one of the things I notice um, coming inside the shop is how easy it is to see the different styles. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about the selection and what you're offering. So I didn't want, um, and we're obviously going to be getting more dresses and I actually just ordered in some more, but one thing I didn't want is for all the dresses to be crammed in and mm -hmm. it's just, it's overwhelming. Even with this am amount of dresses, girls can try on five dresses and they start to get overwhelmed after mm -hmm. five because everything just kind of looks the same. But, um, and what I think is really cool is because this used to be a dance studio, leaving the mirrors up mm -hmm. also shows off like the back of the mm -hmm. dresses. It's beautiful. So, um, I don't ever want it to look like a super crowded space to where the brides have to like move the dresses out of the way, um, mm -hmm. you know, to look mm -hmm. at them. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, the dresses that I have in here, Hera White is a designer that we have, and we don't have um, a lot of these like really high end designers that some other stores have, where they start at like four thousand dollars and mm -hmm. go up. But I that was one of my plans too, is I wanted to have beautiful, great quality dresses in here, mm -hmm. but not have the dresses be so expensive that it's just stressful on the bride. So mm -hmm. our, I think our most expensive wedding dress is 
no more than twelve hundred dollars. Excellent. Yeah. So you're differentiating yourself, yeah. your store in so many different ways. Yeah. And know? eventually we may bring in, you know, different designers and stuff. Um and we might bring if it that's important to people, we might bring in those down the road, but mm-hmm. Right now, I'm really, really happy with the designers that I've chosen. Um, I actually speak to them directly, and we have a really good relationship. And the girls are the brides that we've had so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of them have said yes to the dress, so they're loving what we have. Um, We're getting a lot of great feedback. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, I always kind of want it. I think each rack could afford another couple dresses and we'll get there. Sure. But, yeah. Um, and then eat this designer, they come out with new designs about three mm-hmm. times a year. So then mm-hmm. we order in, you know, newer mm-hmm. inventory. Yeah. So, so what a great experience. So the bride comes in, she can bring her uh, wedding party, yeah. her friends, family, mm-hmm. have a personalized experience, find they the can perfect bring in dress. drinks if they want. Yeah. yeah and soon we'll be providing <laughs> that as well Mm -hmm. so mimosas Mm -hmm. champagne so yeah and while they're down here in his harrison's historic downtown district (coughs) excuse me um they can also um take everybody out to eat at market street grill or heist or uh, even hop (coughs) around do a little bar crawl type of thing just have a ladies afternoon yeah so that was a big thing so each bride actually receives a gift bag from me with all the local businesses that can support their special day. Um, So they have business cards in there. And I tried to choose a business from down here in the district and then a business that isn't necessarily down here in the district. I have kind of like two of each. So we have photography, you know, we have um, Market Street is great because they can go and grab lunch there, but they can also have their rehearsal dinner there that night. Um... You know, there's Mm -hmm. salons down here. There's boutiques where they can go shopping Mm -hmm. after they're done. They can go grab a coffee or they can use Dora and grab Mm -hmm. a drink from, you know, whatever they want to do. And that's why I was like, we literally have everything down here besides a place for them to shop for a dress. Yeah. So that's why. And I had actually started this adventure two years ago and then everything in the world kind of fell apart Mm -hmm. and I had my eyes on a different spot and it just wasn't meant to be. And I kind of told myself that. And then when this space became available, it couldn't have been more perfect and like everything happens Mm -hmm. for a reason. And I think it, it ended up turning out great for what I was looking for. So talk about, um, the formal dresses that you offer. Prom season Mm -hmm. is here. It's the perfect time. Talk about that. Yeah, so we do have a formal room in the back. And when I say um, formal room, obviously right now it is prom season. So we're focusing more on getting prom dress styles in. But we're going to always use it as a formal room. So whatever that dance may be at that particular time. Or some dresses can be used as um, bridesmaids dresses. Even mother of the bride if you choose those certain styles. But um You do not have to make an appointment for that. Um, We usually try to post when we have like prom open hours, meaning we don't have a bride in at the time because when we have a bride, we do lock the door so that their their appointment cannot be interrupted. Um, However, so when I first started this, I had planned on doing like open prom shopping like a couple nights a week, but it seems as if the girls actually like and prefer the appointments more because when they make an appointment, they get an hour of us focusing just on them. Mm -hmm. And they don't have, you know, 10 other girls in here. They're not fighting over dressing rooms or dresses. Like, because one girl might take in five dresses with her and then this girl wants one of the dresses that she has. And we did an open prom night and it was crazy and it was great but the experience of having an appointment is actually better so we have seen that um the girls are liking that and just kind of you know when I put my opening order in for dresses like just figuring out what the girls are liking and wanting that's Mm -hmm. been nice it's overwhelming sometimes Mm -hmm. but um that's been a great experience too. It's mm-hmm. just, I could literally sit here all day and watch girls, prom girls and 
bride try dresses on. You're like in it's, your element. It, I am. Like, it's so fun. Like, I'm a boy mom, so I don't get to experience any of that, but I get my experience for sure with owning the salon and now this. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's kind of a nice change up, like doing hair a few days a week and then popping in here and mm-hmm. being here for some appointments. It's mm-hmm. it's nice. It's fun. Yeah. Well, I can tell one thing that stands out to me <clears throat> about you as a business owner that I think you're going to be so successful uh, as you've been with the salon mm-hmm. is your willingness to adapt mm-hmm. <clears throat> and learn as you go. Yeah. So getting feedback from your clients and your customers and uh, switching up your business a little mm-hmm. bit along the way and... Do you have any advice for other people, women who might want to open a business? Uh, I could go on for days. I mean, it whatever you decide to do, it's a learning experience. I mean, you're going to you're going to fail some days. Some days you're going to be like, "Oh my gosh, did I make the right decision?" There are some days where I I'm like, um you know, like I start to worry, I start to panic. We're going to have those days, you know, we're just getting over a season, one of our slowest seasons and Mm -hmm. all retail. So that's salon, the salon, you know, all stores. Um, it's a lot. It Mm -hmm. is a lot. I mean, Mm -hmm. but yeah, I, I mean, I've owned the salon for almost three years and I can't tell you how many times I've made changes. Mm -hmm to what we do down there or just switching stuff around or figuring out what services to offer or it's a learning experience. You can own a business for, I don't care how long, and it's always going to be a learning experience. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it's going to be rough. You're going to have rough days and you're going to have wonderful days and Mm -hmm. it's not easy. Everybody is like, oh my gosh, you own a business. That must be awesome. You can do whatever you want. No, it's not easy, but it's so rewarding at the same time. So I love it. I mean, and having friends, I feel like all of us down here are pretty close and that's what I love about the district. Um, we can just kind of like lean on each other and we share each other's stuff and mm-hmm. um, support each other. And that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Like I, I love that, having support. Right. Well, we're certainly um, honored to have you as part mm-hmm. of the Greater Harrison Chamber. We loved celebrating with you, your ribbon cutting yeah. earlier this year and look forward to um, sharing more of your success and, and helping your business grow. Thank you. Thank you.